hello and welcome back viewers and subscribers of avg news i'm doing this video to respond to those who have written to us asking about the asylum renewal process uh, because there are many of them who say that they tried to renew their asylum papers via the email address that was provided during lockdown but they did not get any response some say that they have written more than twice still they haven't gotten any response and they want to know from us if we are in a position to explain what is happening on that uh, process or on that front and this is what we're going to respond to before i go ahead may i request you to subscribe to this channel to like this video and to share it so that it reaches out to many other people who want to apply for asylum those who have already applied for, for asylum and those who are trying to apply for their extensions and anybody else who wants to know uh, what is already exactly happening so what i'm going to do here i'm going to go through some of the concerns that have been sent to us by people who want to know exactly uh, what is happening or those who want to inform us of their challenges that they are facing so the first one this person says that I applied for my second online extension since March and it still hasn't and I still haven't gotten any response, not even the automatic response. I even tried it several times from the, in, from the internet cafe, but still no response. I even went there somewhere in May, but it was I was denied access because I had no appointments. Please, I need advice. This other one says, I sent an email at Home Affairs about my lost asylum. They said I must send all details in fi and file number. The problem, I don't remember my file number. Are they going to help me? This one says, I just want to share with those who did who lost their asylum sorry, uh, and don't have file number. Here in Cape Town, I did call myself, I did explain my problem, they went through the system and they did give me the file number. They only need your name, uh, you use the, the, the name you use on the paper asylum. So this is directly a response maybe to what has been asked before to this one who sent an email to home affairs about the lost asylum but didn't have, didn't receive any response i think the idea is for you to go to your nearest uh, rro tell them that you lost your file number give them your name and then they will look it up in the system you'll remember that uh, some of these centers like the desmond tutu uh, refugee reception uh, office has now been computerized so it's a matter of them punching your name there then they'll give you your file number but you ought to have an asylum which has not yet expired or those that expired during lockdowns during lockdown which have not yet been renewed then we have another one okay there are some who have already been responded to and they were told that their visas were not processed and that they need to report uh, to the RRO office uh, they were given a date and the yeah of, of the 28th of october for the processing of their request and they want to know what is really happening i cannot say exactly what is it is but since uh, it could not be processed i think you need to go there and clarify certain issues or you'll be given a notice to leave south africa on a given date but this then will be subject to you appealing the decision if you have grounds for appeal uh, do we still have another one uh, this is yeah so these are the messages that we got and there are several others similar because here we took those that are different from others so that we don't repeat what has already been asked. Uh, so what is happening here is that uh, we have not yet been given a proper picture of what exactly uh, is transpiring at the Arara offices or refugee reception offices. So what we are going to do is we are going to call 
uh, the responsible authorities try and get uh, the exact information about what is happening so that we can come back here and then relay that information to you. If there are other avenues that they want you to explore, we will also come and relay them to you. But for those that applied but did not get any response, if you cannot go to your nearest uh, ara ara o because maybe of distance, because of time constraints, then you need to be patient until you have been told that your application for renewal was rejected or that it was uh, attended to. But you can also try and call them, but continue again to write to them so that even when you are in trouble with the police, you can show them that this is the proof that I've been trying to renew my asylum document, but I haven't been responded to. Where the, the walking uh, has been opened, you can just walk in there, or where you need to book an appointment, you don't have a choice, try and book that appointment. But there are days that were set aside for nationals from different countries, uh, from different uh, regions as well, different uh, uh, bodies like SADAC, uh, ECOWAS and other stuff. Follow those and go to your nearest refugee reception office because the issue of documentation is a very serious one. It is one that can hamper your progress in South Africa. It can one that it is one that can put you in trouble with the authorities. It can put you in trouble with the police. It can put you in trouble with uh, your employers. So do all the necessary steps to try uh, and have your documents renewed. But we will reach out to them with the challenges that you have sent to us, and we will come back and respond to those challenges as per the response that would have uh, been given. Uh, also, if you have any more of these challenges, which are not uh, among those that uh, I read out, please feel free to send them to us via this comment section underneath this video, or you can email us. So thank you very much. This is what we had for you at this present moment. But if there is another topic that you want us to discuss or where you need clarification on, just send us that information via the comment section underneath this video and we will do our best to respond to it. Thank you very much.